What's up guys? Welcome back to SVD Fishing. So what you guys are about to watch is a combined film, put it that way. Uh, it was two trips put together. Always good to get out there on the water, can't beat it. So you guys enjoy. What time's it? 8.30. Next spot. Big girls live. We are hooked up, boys and girls. We are hooked up. Not a giant, but it's a fish. None, nonetheless, nonetheless, it's a fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Just cranking that. Oh, look at his, look at his lips. Red as, red as ever. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's all it takes. Somebody to swipe at it. We're gonna need pliers for you. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. A little chunk. Little chunker off the chunk rock. I thought I'd catch one off some rock, you know? But I like it, we're gonna definitely get a little picture with him. Maybe a pound, pound and a half or not bad, man. See you later, buddy. Cranking these rocks, huh? Ah, how much time we got? <laughs> None at all. <laughs> I have to leave so my wife can. It's always great to catch a fish, right? But I have to leave so my wife can make her appointment so I can watch the baby. I'm gonna make just a few more castuses. Cause she said by, by 11. So if I, if I can get this boat launched in that truck. So what I'm, what I'm throwing, what I'm throwing here is KVD flat side crankbait. That was about eight feet. Got it on the clip. You see it, hey man, clips work. But I got a spinning set up here. All cast king, I think it's Crixus. And all I see, you know, nice chunk rock bank. I'll just get that bait down to the bank, I mean, down to the bottom. Once I start making bottom contact, I start slowing down. That's all I, all I did there. And me just banging off the bottom, cause that fish to have a nice little swipe at it. And I got him, got him. Bam, baby. Let's keep on. Let's keep on keeping on. Cause I only got a little bit more, a little bit more time to fish, and I have to capitalize on my fishing time. That's a snag there, but hopefully it's not too bad. When I mean, you're just to reel in, and plus also the current's coming towards me. The current's kind of going out right now. So we're technically in a high tide. There you go. She came loose. But current's coming towards me, so these fish are facing towards where the current's coming from so that's the direction i'm fishing kind of hard to do in a kayak at times but if you got a nice little trolling motor you can make it happen so i'm doing is just kind of cranking banging off these rocks making some commotion down there good old four mile run huh and gave my first fish of 2020. <laughs> or first bass of 2020. I caught a catfish the other. I think my last time being out, out on the Potomac. But can we catch another one? Can we catch one more? 56 degree water tent back here. We got a warm water discharge back in that corner. For those who don't know about four mile run. It gets fished a lot. Don't get me wrong, but if you can, you know, cause a reaction bite or trick him with a little finesse bait, then then you'd be fine. But nah, 
I haven't felt a haven't felt a bass bite on how long. And you know, it stopped me when I was reeling. Then the moment I you know felt a couple more a couple more yinks, I was like, oh yes, that's a fish. No doubt in my mind. And why am I using a spinning setup here? You'll see some pros will do this, have a spinning setup for their uh, cranking. And it's a slower gear ratio, you know, real. I'm not gonna say you cast further. I, I think, I, you know, I think I still, I feel I get a little better cast from a bait caster. But I like this during the cold months for sure. Um, this definitely, you know, cranks slower. I, I can't overdo it with the, you know, with the bait caster. I know you can get, you know, slower bait cast. Don't get me wrong, but but things gets gets the job done. We're gonna stay here for a little longer. See how much trouble we get in, right? Because we want to catch a fish. It might seem like I'm kind of really kind of fast, but I'm moving forward with my boat at the same time. So I'm kind of keeping up with the pace that I want to be at as far as reeling. Look at that thing eating across the bottom. Looks pretty cool. And I'm going to cast out here some, because I'm not necessarily in rock, but, you know, if you could bang against, you know, sandy bottoms, rock and come across a couple rocks, a couple little, you know, tree twigs down there. These fish are going to track what's creating a commotion. They're going to hunt it down <laughs> and see if they can eat it. <laughs> this water gets really, really clear out here. Hopefully I can find some money. That'd be pretty cool. All right. All right, we're gonna turn around. I got on something. Somebody's got dang on line. Got dang on line, coat. All right, we're gonna turn around and go crank that area again. Cause I gotta get up at it. Oh my jeezy, I gotta go. I have to go. Whoop, guys, that's it. Um, <laughs> I gotta, gotta go. I gotta get out of this little area. I gotta get on this motor, get this boat back home so the wife doesn't kill me, you know? But the fish was caught today. <laughs> I'm gonna come back here sooner. I don't know. You always tell yourself, hey, let me try this area. Hey, try that area. Hey, try this area. Hey, try that area. But you only got like two seconds to fish, you know? I about to say, I about to say, I got him again. Let's get a couple cast. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Guys, take care. I get fish a freaking brick. Just trying to get a fish on the video. That's it. That's all I want to do. On the video to say, hey, hey, I think I can actually catch a fish or two. Look at that, we have a fish, man. Get your butt in this boat, baby. Jeez. About that little point there. <laughs> all day, all day, right? All day, can they say all day? Yes, it took all day. Jeez. Yeah. 
DT6. Man, was I casting my life away, right? Not bad. I don't know if she should make scale, but that dang, my fish ran. Ran for his life. I don't blame him. I say it takes all day to get that, man. It's well worth it. Ha! I love catching a fish on a crankbait. I like, I like moving fast. Fish teeth are sharp. I don't see anything down his throat. What's in his belly? Belly doesn't feel too full. But I give him, let him go. Oh man, thank you, thank you, buddy. Oh man. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time on the water. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate the support. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please keep a lookout for that beginner's guide to bass fishing. And I will see you guys next time.